So this video is just going to be an overview of the features in Twidla. Twidla, as you can see right there on the website, is a free, no setup, web-based meeting playground. Think of it as an interactive online whiteboard that you can use. Uh, I don't even need to sign in or create an account to be able to use it. There are some limitations, but let me show what I can do without even having an account. So I'm going to click on Go. It's going to launch a new Twidla session for me. And it gives me this uh, unique number, 48677, up here in the URL. And if I click on Invite over here, it shows that I can either add people by sending them an email, or I can just give them the link down here to this particular uh, Twidla session. Okay? And I'll close that back up. And you can see over here I have some different chat options. And I can change my name to make it a little bit more descriptive. So I'll put in Stein. And I can type a chat message. Okay? And it will show that this is what I said. Um, I can do audio chat, but since I'm the only one in here right now, if I click on this, it will just remind me that there's no one really to talk to. So I'm not going to bother showing that. I'm going to uh, close that up for right now. And just look at a few other options that we have here. I've got all these different um, drawing, erase, shapes, text. So right now the draw select draw option is selected. So I can just come down here and draw whatever I want. I can also use different shapes and make various shapes obviously. So literally it's, it's my own whiteboard. I can change the color, I can change the size of the line. If I use the erase tool, I can come down and erase things. If I use the select tool, I can select and move things around or toss it up here in the trash can if I don't want it. And I can also add text to it by clicking on the text option. And then, for instance, if I want to just be able to put in, type in text here. After clicking on the T, I just clicked anywhere on the canvas and it uh, allowed me to type. I can always go back and edit that if I want to. Uh, I can also choose to put in a note if I want it to look more like a little sticky note. So here's a little note. And I can then grab that and move it around. If I decide I don't want that note, I just take it up here and toss it in the trash can. Or I could have also just hit the delete button. can add other options or other elements, such as media elements. So when I click on the media link, this set of tools pops up down below. And I'm going to switch over to images first. They have a small set of images that I can choose from if I wanted to. And I can just toss those into the canvas if I want. But I can also upload an image if I wanted to. And I can mark up that image, draw on it, add text to it, whatever I wanted to do. Same thing with documents. Right now I don't have any documents in my library, but I could upload those again without having to log in. And uh, there could be Word documents and so forth that we could mark up and look at. Uh, this email option is not available unless I create an account, so I'll skip over that. I could put in different widgets. If I wanted to have a widget that was part of uh, my whiteboard, I could do that. And then mathematical formulas. If you're teaching math, you have different formulas and characters that you can create using these symbols and then toss those up into the whiteboard so that you could have that for students to, uh, to solve or to, to work through as a class. Uh, so that's that's a brief overview of the tools that are available and the features of Twidla. And in subsequent video tutorials for Twidla, I'm going to get in a little bit more uh, detail with these features to show how you can use them in an educational setting.